the other end of the table. And they're chasing the championship because they level with Super Sports United on Terrific. point. Down in Port Elizabeth. So Jomo Cosmos, you don't see too many of the newcomers because... Uh, okay. Or should I say, they should not be in a position not to get the full three points this evening. Bethel Tukani scored an absolutely scintillating goal when they played against Kaiser Chiefs last time. Jomo Cosmos not of a respectable nature tonight because it is really fantastic to be back in the EPSA Premiership after a break of nearly two months. Of course, the African Cup of Nations, an absolutely scintillating affair, particularly with the victories that came from the, the Zambian side, and one hopes that the Zambian players can do the first few minutes. Get their rhythm and maybe we'll see something more positive. I saw the ball in the area and chased on by Siobhan on side, so he certainly has had uh, a lot of impetus and a lot of impact as well. This is the ball that was played in just a few minutes ago. Zimbabwean 21-year-olds, Vesike. Academy as well. Will know the value of uh, having that sort of exposure for the youngsters in amongst the top professionals in the country. Great work done here into the area. And just if it had been pulled back a little more to Mark Haskins, there could have been trouble for Kaiser Chiefs, whose centre-backs just seem to be ball-watching momentarily. Well, Rusiki did so well, his pass let him down the final pass, and here we see Kaiser Chiefs on the counter-attack. So Rusiki has already had an impact on this encounter. Two delightful balls across on the left channel for Jomo Cosmos. Bit of work to do himself with arrows down in 12th position, but only 14 points and a kick. Three corners to nil. Kaiser Chiefs lead. They've got to be careful of being caught on the counter-attack. This is Bethwell Tukane. Gets caught in possession. No foul, says referee Lekutane. Should have laid the ball off a little earlier to Rissike. Free kick easily defended by Kaiser Chiefs. Interesting to see just how much pressure can be exerted by Rusike, 21-year-old Zimbabwean, on the left-hand side. And try and challenge Molo Kwani, who's standing in for Jimmy Tao in the right-back position for Kaiser Chiefs. I really do think it's an area that Cosmos uh, can exploit was 59% possession, has dropped back by 5% as Jomo Cosmos starts creating a few opportunities and it has been Haskins and Rusike with John Shinga who have created perhaps the balance in the middle of the park and I think Ramuza Sono is starting to uh, apply himself and uh, contribute a little better. And now Rusike, this is the battle that's going to be intriguing for me as he takes on Molekwani. Unfortunately managed to get this success but I like the way this man thinks he creates space for himself and he's not afraid to take opportunities and I think the difference between having a, a shot from that sort of distance and trying to pick out Don Shinga has uh, been nicely orchestrated by the left winger so far he's very dynamic quick you know lively player however a bit ambitious there you can't expect to beat Kune from that distance unless you have one of those fantastic shots we saw from Tukani in the first uh, round of this uh, it's terrific and the pitch in the stadium all sets out to be fabulous evening and so far we've had some intriguing football attacking prowess from Kaiser Chiefs putting a lot of pressure on the defensive skills of Cosmos Molokwani had two bites of the cherry and he couldn't cross the ball uh, and that is not acceptable because I I at this level, if you get a second bite on the cherry, at least get the ball into the area because you had at least three or four players waiting to, to, to get that cross in. And uh, there he was easily dispossessed. And Klapo, it's a great ball! Except Osuke was offside. Stings the palms of Kune anyway. Well, maybe he's passing a message to him. He's trying to give him a message. Listen, I'm here this, this evening to take shots at you and uh, although I'm offside, this is just a warning. Not a bad shot either. He's got a bit of power in that right boot of his, uh, the 21-year-old. Young man, very, very, very promising. If he's 21 years old, he's a player for the future. You can see he positions himself well. He makes runs into those spaces on the wide side. And he links up so well with the likes of Mark Eskin. So suddenly in the last five minutes, it's Cosmos who have been applying the pressure. Rusike, perhaps the catalyst to that statistic. Now some pressure coming straight through the middle of the park. It's a lovely ball out to the far side. No offside flag, not Shinga. 
thrown on the wrong side of it, in my opinion. Back out towards Bethwell. A lovely ball through the middle. That's a chance here for Rosike. Cuts inside. Oh, it's a lovely save. A little bit more influence in uh, dead ball situations. That ball seemed to come off uh, the Zimbabwean. Rosike, and away for another corner. Well, we did say the harder they try, the more difficult it will kicked be. in the head. Yeah, there we see a little bit of patience here from Rusiki would have done the trick. He had options, cut back, couldn't pass the ball because the player was in an offside position and was forced to take the shot. Kune doing very well to stop it. I'll tell you what it does indicate is that he's a very much a left-footed player because he had acres of space. He could have hit that right-footed with so much time, looking for the near post, maybe chose to cut inside. Well, that time almost... Uh, the opportunity had uh, gone a begging, but uh, no, he seems a very, very lively player indeed. Matthew Rusike, man for the future, arguably. Avril Party in Jamaica in a number of saves, and the only real save that Trimble and Cooney's had to make was from an offside shot that came off the left-hand side of uh, Matthew Rusike. On the Rusike. other side, he has pressure from Rusike, and all of the areas that Joma Cosmos are looking to exploit up front. Falls into action, and then Rusike with the uh, attempt here, that uh, tests uh, Kune a little bit. Doc, you calling for offside. There's no offside there. That ball, when it's played, we've looked at it under super slow-mo action, and Rusike has it's looked super dangerous. I don't think we do have enough time.